This is a uh, antenna we made out of aluminum foil. There's two strips of aluminum foil approximately 24 inches long and whatever the width of the package that the aluminum foil comes in. These were taped onto the wall with a separation in between. You can see the separation here so they're not touching. We use this transformer to connect the coax cable to the TV. Now you can see we're using push pins to hold the transformer one lead on this sheet of aluminum foil, the other lead on this aluminum foil. We use the push pins because they hold best and they get a nice tight connection. Now we also use push pins to hold the aluminum foil up. You can also use tape. But then you attach the coax cable to this transformer, just screws on the end, and then you run this down to your TV. And you can see on the back, we have multiple inlets available. These are the RCA cords. We don't have to worry about those. This is the uh, PC in, so if you want to attach your computer to this, you can. You have two HDMI inputs, a USB input. Now this is a, uh, a digital TV. To attach the uh, antenna to the TV, right here it says ant in, antenna in. Just put this in there, screw that on there, and now you're connected. Okay, once you have the antenna plugged in, you'll have to program the TV in order to receive the over-the-air broadcasts. Get out your remote and find the menu button. Sometimes in place of a menu button, there is a setup button could be a big button in the center or it could be a smaller button in one of the corners. Press the button and you should be taken to a screen that shows several options for making changes to your TV. With this one, there is a TV mode. Press the arrow key to the right to move to the next window. Here you will find the tuner mode. There are two choices, antenna or cable. Every TV is different in how they display the menu, but you are looking for the antenna cable option. Select antenna. You might have to use the right arrow key again to get to the next screen, but if it goes there automatically, look for and activate the auto search or auto program option. Your TV will start scanning for channels. Some TVs will provide you with a status report on the scan, some won't. Your TV should be able to finish the scan within 60 seconds. This particular one found a total of 23 channels, 22 digital and one analog. There are still analog broadcasters out there, by the way, but they are relatively small independent stations and aren't required by the FCC to broadcast a digital signal. Once the scan is finished, you should be able to see programming right away. Digital TV allows broadcasters to add additional channels to their lineup. <clears throat> For example, back when TV was still analog, the local CBS affiliate could only broadcast one channel. For instance, channel 3. With digital, they can add additional channels to their lineup. And they number them 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, etc. This gives the stations the opportunity to increase their ad sales platforms and provide their viewers with additional options. All programs are currently sent out in high definition and a digital TV will display the program just fine. The occasional analog station won't come in very well since they are a different signal and it'll look pretty bad, pretty grainy on your uh, TV. So anyway, that's how you uh, Attach an antenna and program a digital TV. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, we think our subscribers are the coolest people on the planet, by the way. And uh, check out our channel for other videos that will help you in your quest to cut the cable and enjoy free TV the way it was meant to be.